Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the first week of October 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Football player Russ Francis died October 1, 2023, in Lake Placid, New York. He died in an aircraft accident at the age of 70. He was a tight end for the San Francisco 49ers, who helped them to victory at Super Bowl XIX. Francis is also being remembered for his years with the New England Patriots and for his professional wrestling career after he retired from football. Musician Russell Batiste Jr. died September 30, 2023, in Laplace, Louisiana. He died of a heart attack at the age of 57. He was a renowned New Orleans drummer who played with such bands as the Funky Meters, Nuclear Rhythms, and Papa Grows Funk. Batiste is also being remembered as a member of the supergroup Vida Blue, alongside musicians from Fish and the Allman Brothers. Sports commentator Bob Sheridan died September 27, 2023, at the age of 79. He was a boxing play-by-play -play announcer who reported on iconic fights like the Rumble in the Jungle, the Thrilla in Manila, and the infamous Earbite fight between Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. Sheridan is being remembered as the voice of boxing, whose high-energy commentary made fans feel like they were there. For those of you who are new to our channel, welcome. One thing to keep in mind, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Hockey executive Chris Snow died September 30th, 2023 in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. He died of complications from ALS at the age of 42. He was the assistant general manager for the Calgary Flames, after having worked as a sports journalist and in the front office for the Minnesota Wild. Snow is being remembered for his inspirational advocacy for ALS awareness, including helping raise more than half a million dollars for ALS research. Author Echo Brown died September 16, 2023, at a hospital in Cleveland. She died after fighting lupus and kidney failure at the age of 39. She wrote acclaimed books for young adults, such as Black Girl Unlimited and The Chosen One. Brown is also being remembered for her one-woman play, Black Virgins Are Not For Hipsters. Radio host Alamo Jones died September 27th, 2023, after a long fight with multiple health issues at the age of 77. He was the host of the Alamo Jones Show on Sirius XM's Outlaw Country Channel. Jones is also being remembered as a singer and songwriter, and as The Voice in Black, the nickname given to him by his longtime friend Johnny Cash. Architect Beverly Willis died October 1st, 2023, in Brantford, Connecticut. She died of Parkinson's disease at the age of 95. Her designs included the San Francisco Ballet Building and the Shell Bar at the Royal Hawaiian Hilton. Willis is also being remembered as a mentor to other women architects and as a champion of their work. Musician Dom Famillaro died September 27, 2023, of pancreatic cancer at the age of 70. He was a drummer and a renowned drumming instructor who taught clinics and master classes all over the world. Famillaro is being remembered as drumming's global ambassador for sharing his love of music across the world. Filmmaker Horace Ove died September 16, 2023, in London. 
he died after suffering from Alzheimer's disease at the age of 86. His 1976 film, Pressure, was the first feature-length film directed by a black British filmmaker. Ove is also being remembered for movies such as Reggae and Playing Away. Lieutenant General Claudius Bud Watts III died October 1st, 2023 in Charleston, South Carolina. He died at the age of 87. He was best known as the 17th president of the Citadel, a prestigious military academy in South Carolina where he himself had been a student 30 years earlier. Lieutenant General Watts previously served the U.S. Air Force in such positions as budget director of Air Force headquarters and comptroller of the Air Force. His military service spanned three decades, including a stint in the Vietnam War. He was also a Fulbright Scholar at the London School of Economics and Political Science. Baseball player Tim Wakefield died October 1st, 2023 in Satellite Beach, Florida. He died of brain cancer at the age of 57. He was a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox for 17 seasons, helping them break the curse of the Bambino with their 2004 World Series victory. Wakefield is remembered as a record-setting player. He was the oldest Red Sox player ever to win a game, and he started more games at Fenway Park than any other pitcher. All-time NFL football great Dick Butkus died this week at his home in Malibu, California, at the age of 80. The Chicago Bears announced the news on October 5, 2023. A linebacker for the Bears in the 1960s and 70s, Butkus was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1979. And in 2019, the NFL honored him as one of the greatest players of the league's first hundred years. Butkus is also remembered for his acting career, he appeared in such movies as Necessary Roughness and Any Given Sunday. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. One year ago this week, singer and songwriter Loretta Lynn died at the age of 90. She was a country music legend whose songs included Coal Miner's Daughter and Fist City. Three years ago this week, musician Eddie Van Halen died at the age of 65. He was the longtime guitarist for the band Van Halen, known for rock hits like Jump and Why Can't This Be Love. Four years ago this week, actress and singer Diane Carroll died at the age of 84. She was a TV star on Julia and was Oscar nominated for her performance in Claudine. Six years ago this week, musician Tom Petty died at the age of 66. His many hit songs included You Got Lucky, Free Fallen, and Mary Jane's Last Dance. 18 years ago this week, playwright August Wilson died at the age of 60. His award-winning plays include Fences and The Piano Lesson. 25 years ago this week, actor and singer Gene Autry died at the age of 91. Known as the Singing Cowboy, he had a classic with his signature song, Back in the Saddle Again. 25 years ago this week, actor Roddy McDowell died at the age of 70. He was a child star in Lassie Come Home, and he grew up to star in the Planet of the Apes movies. 34 years ago this week, actress Betty Davis died at the age of 81. Her classic movies include All About Eve and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. 53 years ago this week, singer Janis Joplin died at the age of 27. She was known for her powerful vocals on songs like Me and Bobby McGee, and peace of my heart. Actor Charlton Heston was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2008 at the age of 84. 
he won an Oscar for Ben-Hur and starred in such movies as The Ten Commandments and Soylent Green. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States, as well as state flags in Maryland, have been lowered to honor the memory of Senator Dianne Feinstein. Flags in Maryland have also been lowered to honor the memory of Baltimore Orioles legend Brooks Robinson. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of State Senator Jack E. Sandlin. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of State Representative David J. Mack III and Deputy Jacob Eric Salrin of the Richland County Sheriff's Office, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Kentucky have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Private First Class Thomas Franklin Frank Brooks, who died in World War II. His remains were recently identified and returned home for burial. Flags in Rhode Island have been lowered to honor the memory of former Johnston Police Chief Joseph Raza and active duty Marine Gunnery Sergeant Andrew Clermont. Flags in Tennessee have been lowered to honor the memory of Knox County Sheriff's Office Deputy Tucker Blakely, who died in the line of duty. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.